Standing in the Face of Power by John Forrester John Forrester combines an analysis of social and political theory with his own empirical investigations to examine what planners do in the face of concentrated economic and political power. He tries to demonstrate that planners can make choices about their exercise of political power in the planning process. He argues that information is an important source of planners' power and if used strategically can be a means of empowering citizens. If planners ignore those in power, they assure their own powerlessness. Alternatively, if planners understand how relations of power shape the planning process, they can improve the quality of their analysis and empower citizens and community action. Information as a source of power The Technician He supposes that power lies in technical information. This view reflects at once the most traditional problem-solving notion of planning. The Incrementalist They believe that information is a source of power because it responds to organizational needs. Planners work in organizational networks in which different actors depend on one another for key information. The liberal advocate views information as a source of power because it responds to a need created by pluralist political system. The structuralist supposes that planners' information is a source of power because it serves necessarily first to legitimize the maintenance of existing structures of power and ownership and second, to penetrate public attention. The progressive approaches information as a source of power because it can enable the participation of citizens and avoid legitimizing functions of which the structuralist warns. Each of these planning perspectives points to a different source of need for information and thus defines a different basis for power, such as technical problems, organizational needs, political inequality, system legitimation, or citizen action. Limitations of Common Views the political context of planning is understood as a threat and not as an opportunity. The liberal advocate has been characterized as a nurse ministering to the sick yet unable to prevent their illnesses from occurring in the first place. The different types of misinformation will be ad hoc, random, or spontaneous. Factors that affect misinformation such as contingency of distortion and autonomy of the source of distortion. In every interaction, a speaker may speak more or less comprehensively, sincerely, appropriately, or legitimately in the context at hand and accurately. A listener's subsequent action depends on how the same these four criteria are satisfied. First, depending on the terms in which issues are discussed, citizens may find the issues clear or barely comprehensive. Second, depending on the intentions with which issues are presented. Citizens may find their trust deserved or not, thus, public trust always procures may be honored or manipulated. Third, depending on what justifications are used as issues are presented, citizens may find their consent manipulated or not. In each case, the claim to legitimacy is an attempt to shape citizens' action through the mobilization of their consent. Fourth, depending on the use of evidence and data, citizens may find issues either misrepresented or reported accurately. Systematic representation in the planning process is likely to breed cynicism, careful action, and manipulate citizens' beliefs as well. Responses to misinformation Each type of misinformation calls for a different type of response from planners. Planners may counteract the management of citizens' beliefs or knowledge by promoting project review criticism and debate by further politicizing planning processes. They seek to enable informed participation that recognizes the rights of others. Planners already have a vast repertoire of practical responses which they can counteract with misinformation, such as the following. Progressive planners, therefore, must learn to anticipate misinformation before the fact when something may still be done to counteract it. Planners themselves can produce misinformation. They offer work with pressing time constraints with limited data. Misinforming actions by planners may be at special times be justified but only under particular and rare occasions and hardly as often as might be supposed. Progressive planners seek to anticipate and counteract misinformation but hampers publicly accessible, informed, and participatory planning. The power available to progressive planners encompasses the information strategies of the technician, the incrementalist, and the liberal advocate 
but it is more extensive skill. In each area, progressive planners can encourage and inform the mobilization and action of affected citizens. The progressive planner seeks to anticipate and counter the efforts of interest to threaten to make a mockery of the democratic planning process.